Alright guys, welcome back. So RGTI. So last time, if you're new to the channel, we have talked about this one many, many times. So last time I talked about this one, January 3rd, I was saying back to single digits, something like that. Yep, January 3rd. So I want to, um, well, there's a few things going on. This week, um, we have SEC, the Consumer Technology Association. This is uh, this is an event where a lot of tech names are presenting new product products. Uh, there's some M and A's going on. Uh, there's some uh, yeah deals, product product announcements. Yesterday, uh, AMD and Nvidia started the event with, and it's going up until January 10th. So, and quantum names are going to be presenting as well. So the two biggest quantum names for me are well. I don't think you guys are going to guess it, <laughs> but it's going to be IBM and uh, Google, okay? But we as uh, s speculators who, um, well, degenerates who like to make money short term, but they don't admit it that they want to make infinite money of <laughs> in short term trading, we are watching small caps, uh, small mid caps that just they don't have any actual product or they just don't make money. We're watching these names, right? So by looking at RGTI, we're talking about RGTI here. By looking at the stock, at what stage do you think we are? Last time I gave a little bit different perspective, which the pattern I have seen with SoundHound, and I have talked about the option trader coming in uh, somewhere here, trading $20 million worth of contracts on a weeklies. Very, very crazy. I have seen it a couple times where it was the top for the stock and then dumping it very next day just to make like 10% or maybe even less, like 5% profit. Uh, and then yesterday, pump, Monday, gives it back, right back. And today, slide a bit of down. But in my opinion, it can it, can, it still has like four or five at least trading sessions to move sideways. And if it does break out, go higher, I mean, it's going to basically void what I was talking about. And I can definitely switch my bias. But this is something um, I want to show where, yeah, you have seen, all of you have seen market emotion of market participants. Where you have on the way up, where, of course, this cycle repeats in larger scale in an overall market it repeats in smaller cap stocks very frequently uh intraday very very often it happens optimism belief thrill euphoria and then you have complacency anxiety denial panic uh capitulation anger depression just comment below at what stage do you think we are so the thrill a dangerous Precipice, the relentless market growth leads to a sense of invulnerability. Many only buy more, but to do so on borrowed money, convinced that they can't lose a euphoria, pinnacle of uh, overconfidence. Investors sweep up the in the torrent of success, often become blind to risks. Sentiment is that the sky is the limit. <laughs> and then bear market stage. I think we're, again, this is my opinion. You, dr uh, you drop your own uh, comment complacency stage where initial declines are often dismissed as minor corrections there is a general sentiment that the market will soon regain its momentum okay and then you have this uh anxiety the charm starts wearing off as market doesn't rebound as expected and more investors receive margin calls a sense of unease uh primit permits and permits of the atmosphere denial the investors grapple with the cognitive dissonance despite evident market uh, downtrends many convince themselves that their assets are still valuable and that the rebound is immense so these are the stages right so my uh prediction was like okay i don't think we're gonna go capitulate but since the stock is in an uptrend Okay, I think it can pull back to uh, almost maybe denial stage and then you will see some sort of a uptrend. It, not every chart has to work out that way and will work out that way. But this is what I'm 
speculating on, okay? I don't have a actual position. I did trade it somewhere here for 200% gain. Ever since I didn't bother it, I am watching. If it happens next week, that would be perfect going into OPEX. But again, if it does break out, I mean, I could be definitely wrong. I mean, I am wrong more often than I'm right when it comes to uh, like trading. I mean, I try to be very, very cautious and I don't throw my money. I mean, my opinion could be all over the place when I'm looking at the stock on a watch list. But when I'm actually trading, I'm trying, I try to be uh, as accurate as I can. And I try to uh, basically cut the loss if I'm wrong. But I don't have a position here, so I'm not losing money on my thesis. So if you have um, any ideas what you're watching, you can definitely comment below. But this is what I'm watching. So I have given the last time I have given the example of a Soundhound. Let's go back to here. Pretty much the same, right? So if you take a look at that uh, chart, the emotional stages of market participants. Um, this is what happened uh, where, again, of course, it's not one to one, but this is where I saw the same option activity. And I'm just judging it based on option activity. I'm not judging it based on that chart. And where stock does this for one, two, three, four, five trading sessions, and eventually it cracks that level of a 750 and then just it just fades and it has just big move to the downside. This is something, I mean, if I if I capitalize on that one, I mean, you don't have, I'm not telling anybody to trade off of this. That would be really, really good setup. But if it doesn't happen, no problem. If it breaks out, even better. The higher it goes, even better. But I'm watching this area somewhere around 1750-ish maybe. And possibility of this name coming down initially to towards like 12 bucks. But again, if it doesn't happen, no problem. But this is what I'm watching for RGTI. Uh, maybe another three, four days of uh, choppiness and then it cracks. But if it breaks out, no problem. I have no problem with it, okay? So this is something I'm watching. So if you have any opinion, again, drop a comment below. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.